fucking playlist on Apple Music just got deleted. I'm not kidding, every single one. I have zero songs in my Apple Music library. Shout out to my mom for cutting me off the family plan. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I called her and then she put it set it back up, but it still has every single playlist deleted So my morning is starting off great Here's my shortcake. We're in line to get some black rock. I'm gonna try their holiday drink their holiday fuel I need this to make me happy today We are currently in Gilbert, Arizona We have to watch my parents dogs for the day So I decided to bring shorty along so she gets a little play date. Anyways, we're gonna do some fun things in Gilbert including editing all day <laughs> Not very fun, but maybe we'll turn it around and do something fun. Taste test. This is their sugar plum fuel. Mmm. That tastes like pink starburst. A raw, that's really good. That is really good. <sighs> the long awaited anxiety update, you guys. After I made that video, I just didn't honestly want to bring it up again because honestly, talking about it makes me more anxious because then I feel like it makes it real whenever i think about it i feel like it's just in my head but then when i talk to someone i'm like oh my god it's actually happening and i sound actually crazy and i am so annoyed with myself if you guys are caught up you know what's been happening to me and in the beginning it was just in the car and recently it has escalated to just about everywhere i go anytime i get a free moment in my head I think about my anxiety and I'm like should I be nervous right now? I should be nervous right now I'm really nervous right now and then I just like spiral and It has been the most frustrating thing ever. I don't think it's anxiety anymore. I think it's a Like panic attack because it goes from zero to 100 So extremely fast and then I like feel like I'm gonna hyperventilate and like pass out and like I don't know It's not just like bad thoughts all the time. It's more than that Places that I'd be so excited to go to before, I'm terrified to go to. For example, I never thought in a million years I'd be scared to go to a Suns game. I was so excited. I even vlogged that. I didn't even talk about it in my vlog because I didn't want to, like, make it real. I guess that's the best way to put it. I don't even really know how to explain it because it's all still so new to me. I literally had to leave, like, before the halftime because I was, like... I felt like I was gonna pass out. There were so many people there. I was like, I can't fathom the idea of everyone leaving at the same time and then I'm getting trampled. Ooh, it's just the grossest feeling. I'm learning how to control. I actually recently decided that I should go to therapy. It's just hard for me to believe that someone can talk to me and make my thoughts better because of that but i guess i would have no idea because i've never actually gave it a real shot it's super annoying because it's now getting into my everyday life things that i love to do going to the movies like it's like actually insane i think about it 24 7 now one thing that actually is helping me a lot is like peppermint sticks this is like a boom boom and it's so funny because i used to bring these to like raves and it's literally just like essential oils but it like feels good to like smell it because it just gives you like a like i don't know like but i just ordered four more on amazon i'm gonna put them in every single purse because i just had this one in my car and i thought that'd be good but you know now that it's elevated and escalated to every part of my life <laughs> That's great. But yeah, I again would love if anyone had any tips or anything if they deal with like panic attacks. But I've also been realizing therapy is extremely expensive, so. <laughs> Fuck. Wish I could listen to music, but I can't. On to the next subject. I don't want to talk about this anymore. Good morning. It's the next day and we are about to play some tennis. I also just am just so overdressed, but I want to take a picture of my nails and do like this cute new pose that I've been seeing everywhere. We even brought shortcake so she can come hang out with us while we play tennis. So, so excited because this is the first time I'm playing tennis this season. It's finally like not scoldering hot outside. I mean, it's definitely gonna get hot because the sun's beating down. Look at my shoestring. Shorty completely chewed it up like a year ago and I still have them. <laughs> Got my little cute tennis visor. My beautiful racket. Racket. Oh my 
gosh, you guys, we were playing for less than an hour and I'm like, you can tell, I'm so hot, I'm sweating everywhere in all the cracks and crevices. It honestly feels so good to be like working out outdoors again, just cause I feel like it gives me a good vitamin D, a good little fresh air, you know? There are so many options. Yeah. Hi. Hi. We're picking out the scents now. Dude, literally saying. I was so I love an almond scent. Oh my god, it's like I love like I know smell that deeper. <laughs> Go deeper. <laughs> it's literally it's bad. <laughs> smells like bacon. Okay, that's really bad. It's like not it smells like meat. Do you think almond, cake batter, and pistachio would be good together or no? Yeah, or is yeah, that weird? I feel like that would be a pretty good combo. Yeah. Really you think? That sounds good. You guys are good at this. <laughs> <laughs> but we got to pick out the little jar that they go in, and I did a purple one. Mine's just tan. Brown. We were kind of wanted to do like a Christmassy one, but then we were like, well, we'll probably have them after Christmas, so yeah. might as well just have something for like a while. She's seeing how they're gonna smell together. <laughs> we're little chemists. Personal thoughts? What do you guys think about those? I think we need to get this with I have no idea. Caramel? Yeah. How do you think? I think it, it smells good. I think my nose is broken. Same. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ooh. Ooh, it smells good now. Here are our finished candles. And now we just have to wait like two hours for them to dry and then we can pick them up. And they actually smell really good. Yeah, they actually I was, do. I was a little concerned there for a minute. I know, I was like. <laughs> we just got to Jojo Shake Bar and this is a place I've been wanting to come to for a while because apparently they put like alcohol in milkshakes and they're like super extravagant. We're trying to decide what to get. These ones have like cookies and stuff in them. Yeah, that sounds bomb. Holy shit. Guys, I can't okay. even show you everything. Yeah, that's totally fine. I feel like that peppermint shake with a bunch of marshmallow cookies. I love. Okay, that's so good. That's really good. I just hate all the chunks that I'm getting. The peppermint? The peppermint chunks? Yeah. That's kind of cool that they put like actual candy cane. I know, they must put a lot in. I love a good crack. I love a wood candle. I love it, even though I stuck my fingernail in the candle wax and got it all messed up. <laughs> Great. It's Taco Tuesday, so I'm gonna make some tacos and have a night and then watch other people's vlogmases. So, I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Anyway, peace and love.